guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acura, Hondas and all the classics. On the last episode, you saw us put all the pieces back together, including the side skirt, the rear lip, and all the brand new emblem. And everything now is back to OEM and the car looks absolutely stunning. And on today's episode, we're going to show you guys how to refinish the whole entire front rainbow calipers with just rental spray paint. Let's walk over the bench and meet our special guest. Hi, I'm Jeremy, friend of the shop and special guest. So what we got today is caliper repainting or refinishing, whatever you want to call it. Something that generally ends up being a problem on the uh, third gen Acuras or anything with a big break where it's really obvious is that the clear coat eventually starts going. Which if you take a look, it's exactly what it is. And we're gonna do caliper paint, which is very simple. I've had, I've had a lot of um, good experience with this. Anything high temp should be fine. So it's just regular high temp paint? Regular high temp paint. So the important thing to remember is that the heat obviously comes from the inside for the most part when you're heating up the brakes. So as long as you have a base of this, you could technically do, in my experience, I've refinished these more times than I'm really, I'm a little embarrassed to even admit it, honestly, how many times I've done this. Teal, burnt orange, whatever, I've done a lot. So as long as you have a base of high temp and a clear of high temp, you're good to go. If you do a base of high temp, you can do any Rust-Oleum, any color, whatever you want. Satin Lagoon was the teal one everyone was doing. Burnt Orange, VHT was the other one everyone was doing. So as long as you have a base of high temp or a high temp paint to begin with, you're good. Uh, on the clear, you technically can use whatever clear you want, but if you don't get high temp, it will turn yellow over time. So, and even sometimes even the engine enamel. If you do a really light color like I did white for a while, um, eventually it kind of had a yellow tinge to it as it aged but i mean it took years so, this so what's is, the first thing we're going to do first thing we're going to do is take the wheels off First thing we're going to do is remove the caliper. Normally you don't have to remove the rotors, but we're actually going to go ahead and research the rotors. So go ahead, remove the rotors, front and back. Uh, John's going to go ahead and take care of that, and Jeremy going to show you guys how to refinish the calipers. All right, so Jeremy just used an impact driver to break the bolts loose. The nice thing about the impact driver is when you hit it with a hammer, once you've locked it in the direction you want it to go, it actually uses the force of the hammer to turn the tip and break the bolt loose, especially when they have a lot of extra rust and heat up here. All right, so now it's time to pull the rotors off the hubs. And there's a couple ways to do it. Only one right way to do it. Some people want to hit this with a hammer. It's not the right way to do it. The right way is to take a 12 millimeter bolt, no. put it into the special hole right here, like so. We use our gun. Okay, so guys got the rotors off and we're gonna clean up this area before we spray it. We're not going to go too crazy, but we're going to get off as much as we can. We're going to use a wire wheel just attached to a uh, drill and we'll go around all the surface and even around here. And then it's a little bit tough to get in this groove. So, so for that, we'll just use some 80 grit. We'll uh, curl it up and get as best we can to clean it up. In that area, we can see that the uh, the rust starts to come off. It's 80 grit, so it's really, really coarse. And uh, we can really get into that groove just like that. You can see it just coming right off. Okay, so the reason why we're sanding off all that rust is because we can't 
just put paint right over it. If we put paint right over it, it will come right off. So we need the surface to be nice and clean. Okay, so we're ready to spray and I've elected to go with silver. The guys were trying to convince me on black and I know that would make it much cleaner in the end, but silver, I just like the factory look of it. So we have like a uh, spray can it's worth and it's like a silver snow gloss or anything. And Jeremy's gonna go ahead and hit it up. It's right here, it's high temperature. Jeremy, it's up to you. Don't mess it up. All right, so our next step is, is we're gonna refinish the rotors. We're gonna use this old school Hunter machine. Not a lot has changed on this in probably the last 20, 30 years, besides maybe this digital display, but the real basic, it cuts disc rotors and drums. This is the setup for disc rotors, what we're gonna be messing with. And this is the engagement to engage it. This is where we set our speed. This is where we move the thing in and out the whole entire drive and this is where we adjust our tips so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rotor over here we're gonna set her in on the hub we're gonna find the right hub adapter that fits the hub properly we're gonna tighten it all together with all this equipment here and we're gonna cut this thing down look beautiful, beautiful. So we got it all finished up. That definitely need to be resurfaced. It took three cuts, two fast cuts, and one final finish cut at the lowest speed to give it this beautiful OEM machine finish. And this thing is gonna break incredible with the new brake pads, all the rotors refinished. Let's put this thing back together. Okay, so we're gonna clean this up with the wire wheel. The uh, paint is gonna be good enough to go right over that with enough adhesion from this, and then we'll clean it up from there. We'll uh, mask the whole car. All right, just finishing up the last touches with a maroon scuff pad, getting into all those hard to reach areas. It's ready for paint. We're gonna go ahead and clean it off. No need for primer. We can go right into our black caliber paint. And since we took, we had the advantage of doing the rotors and having the bracket for the rear calipers off anyway, we'll go ahead and spray these. I'm only concerned with coverage on the visible section. So if you can picture them on the rotors, it's really just this area of the bracket. We'll spray these here. We'll do the calipers on the cars because we're avoiding, we're trying to do a DIY at home so you don't have to think about bleeding the brakes and after, obviously it'd be easier to have everything off the car, but for this, you just spray what you can see.
So, now that we did the brackets, we're going to do the calibers. Uh, the one disadvantage to having the brackets off is now you have to kind of eyeball where you think, it, what you think is visible on the caliber when it's on the car, on the rotor, with the pads in the way. I mean, keep in mind, you don't need to cover completely the back and stuff like that. Otherwise, obviously, we'd have it off the car. So you're painting the parts you can see. Uh, you cover up the piston, try not to get you know any overspray onto the rubber of the piston, and obviously the bleeding nipple and stuff like that you tape off. With that, let's paint. All right, so Jeremy's ready to go. He wants full coverage, and around two to three coats, we should get it. So we're gonna rock and roll on it, let it dry, and then we're gonna put the sticker and get clearing. One huge advantage is that we're doing black over black, so obviously the coverage is gonna look awesome to begin with. Another thing is, with these calipers, it's such a big flat surface, it's really easy to tell that you got good coverage, which is awesome. I always start with the parts around the edges that you might miss, and then you work your way up to the face. It's very easy to get runs in this. I know Brian never gets runs, ever, but it's very easy to get runs in this because of the corners, so be careful. Lay it on, do your light coat, tack coat, whatever you call it, in the biz, and then uh, you hit it with another nice wet coat and another one if you need it. Realistically, black on black after one coat is probably gonna look good. We'll do two just for sanity's sake. All right, so now this is my side. Let's see whose side comes out better. I'm sure I can do a pretty good job with a lot less talking. All right, so we're ready for the clear. And just guys, remember, we kept the caliber on there. Just kind of keep it as much as do it yourself as we can. We know you guys aren't gonna take it out and send it out, have to bleed the brakes and all that good stuff. So we're gonna do about three to four coats. Light coats, do not try to get it all in one shot. The more coats with this type of paint, the glossier will get, but you have to build it up. You cannot get it in one shot. Man, check those out. They look amazing. Now we did go ahead and we kept the caliper on because we wanted to make sure that we're kind of doing somewhat of a do-it-yourselfer video without having to bleed the brakes and all that jazz. Yeah, we could have pulled it off and done it just the right way we wanted to, but I really think you guys are gonna be able to do it. Now, did you notice how we had a Brembo sticker on there? We chose a Brembo sticker because they are Brembo brakes and check out the Brembo brake pads. It's up to you. Let us know in the comments what you would choose. It could be Acura or Brembo. I personally like the Brembo. Check out what else we got going onto the car now. All right, so Mike's gonna go ahead and remove the caliber. I'm gonna grab the rotor and we're gonna get this thing started. All right, so it's time to put the brake pads in and we have a piston spreader to evenly push out those pistons so we can fit the uh, brake pads in.
All right, so now we're gonna slide in those brake pads. Wow, with the front calibers and brake setup looking so good, I can't wait to see what the rear looks like. Now Mike's gonna go ahead and he's sliding on that rotor. We'll go ahead and put the couple screws in. Then from there, we'll install our caliper and a couple brake pads and this one is gonna be ready to go. Rainbow Caliber came out really good. They look fantastic and we were adding up the prices and for the materials to paint and a couple of the uh, Rainbow decals are around uh, 30 bucks, including the sandpaper. So that's something you do at home and the results are instant. So what are we doing next on next episode? Well, I haven't really told you guys, but I hate the color of the wheel because it is not, you know, the, the original color. If you look at the center cap, it's much lighter. When we started this project, I didn't know we were gonna get this much in depth, but I really wanna stay true to the color of the wheel. So we had them done previously by the company and we're just gonna correct that. So we'll take the tires off, ballast stems, everything, and we'll get it back to the correct shade. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to, to turn on the notification so you don't miss anything on this entire build series. Yep, yeah, and once again, thanks for helping us rebuild our community and we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys. Normally you don't have to repose
So the reason why we need to get this off is because we can't just put, sorry. We can't just put paint right <laughs> over. This way? Rambo. Facing that way, yep. So with the symbol at the top. <laughs> As if you were the center of the boat. <laughs> This is the stuff you don't see when we're actually recording. We get closely watched to make sure we're doing it right. That's right. Welcome to shop life. You didn't see this in the video that I actually had to go back and fix Jeremy's because it was just a little bit too orange feely. But we're gonna make it look like when he watched the video that he did the whole thing perfect. So what do you think about those calipers? I think if I got paid to do this for a living, yeah, I'd be a hell of a lot better than Brian. Yeah, I, I know. I love it too. <laughs> I love it so much. Let's do it again. <laughs>